What's up everybody? Welcome to another episode of the greatest vlog in the world. My name is Jeff, your favorite tour guide in Madeira and I'm back right for today's video and uh, today uh, we're getting uh, real deep in here right real deep we're talking about life we're talking about business we're talking about everything in between right we're gonna go down deep and uh, we're out here in Santa de Saga to do that so uh, I have no idea where this is going let's go inside and get a coffee start making a plan to turn things around let's go <laughs> So you can probably tell that we might have had a couple of rough weeks, right? Or me in particular. There's a lot going on and um, there's a lot of uh, deals on the table, should I say. A lot of things outside of the vlog, um, a lot of things in tourism and other businesses that, uh, and other deals that I work with. And it's been a rough couple of weeks because I'm not used to uh, losing deals, right? So I'm, uh, I consider myself a pretty decent salesman and I'm not trying to, again, like toot my own horn here, but usually when I find a problem and I find a solution to a problem, uh, it kind of works its way out and we improvise and we move along and we get things going and it happens. So uh, I'm not used to this kind of thing and usually this becomes a rant. Sometimes, you know, uh, I've been known to rant on Facebook uh, and I love to give rants like this because it helps me kind of deal with this whole process and move along. So in today's video, what I'd like to do is to kind of give a little bit of inspiration and motivation and something that we can all learn from my mistakes because that's what I'm here to do for you guys. You know, I'm here to show you, uh, you know, how things work around here and uh, hopefully we can learn a thing or two. So today we're going fishing uh, and I thought it would be a great idea to make a motivational business life kind of happiness vlog about fishing. So we're gonna have our coffee. We're gonna speak to the young ladies here and see how this whole thing works. And we're gonna go get some fish, catch some fish, not get some fish. I've, I'm not a fisherman. You know, have you, have you ever caught a fish, babe? No? Well, you caught me. It's a pretty big fish. <laughs> So apparently uh, Poncha helps to catch the fish. Um, yeah, I mean, I don't know. No, do we? I'm not gonna drink two. Andre, there you go, that's all yours. Veronica, baby, do you want a Poncha? Boy, she's a superstar now. She, now she's like, uh, she's like, hey, are you sure? Yes. Yeah, you're gonna stay here with us? Yes. Ching ching. We have three different places, but this is the same park. This park will be the Primera Tea House, Trout Fishing Perkers and the Barbecue Area. We have a mother tank over there, 400 milliliters water. We put water in the first lagoon and go down in caskets because the trout need oxygenated water, water in the movement. We have here the trout, um, rainbow trout. Sometimes we can have the albino one. Don't have pigments, really? don't see very well, but taste the same as the same species. Mm. Rudy, tell me one thing. What is the chance that we can, uh, how easy is it to catch a fish? Here we have, the, this, the dimensions we have here is yeah. 300 grams for 500 grams. The normal size to catch the trout and to, to try uh, at the local. Okay. And we have the big lagoon, the round lake. Uh -huh. There is possible to doing fly fish oh, wow. or roads and there is big size normally with uh, 500 grams, three kilo. At this moment we just have one kilo and a an half. But at the beginning of this project, because we are here 
seven years ago. And we, the record catch there is with three kilo and 700 grams. No, three doing, kilos? Three kilo. That's crazy. It can be six kilo. For, for maximum. trout? Yeah. Wow. Trout. But do you think, uh, do you think we will catch a fish quickly or? No, normally it's quickly. Normally it's yeah, quickly? Yeah. Oh, okay. <laughs> Sounds good. These guys look like they're ready to be eaten. This huh? is a good reason because when you put food at the, the trout and the trout eat, everything is work perfectly. Ah, we yes. have good quality of water, water in the movement and they reproduce oxygenate water. So even the ducks are like, give me some. Jeez, they all come. The ducks <laughs> come again. We want fish that are ready to eat, you know, like just like pa. So we just put it in and it goes pa. That's that's the kind of fish we're looking for. Yeah, right. This is what we're doing. Let's get some fish. These ones look like they're hungry. So yeah. And hey, if we don't get any fish, we can always just take a duck. <laughs> just kidding. We'll get into disclaimers later because I'm probably not allowed to say this. Every time we work with nature, we don't fight with nature. We put water in the first lagoon, like I tell you at the beginning, and go down step by step because the trout need that water in the movement. When raining, we need to close the, the water. It's not necessary to open the water from the mother tank. Sure. The raining is enough to, to doing that, this process. So we are in Santo de Serra, just so you guys know. And uh, Santo de Serra is a little plateau on the east side of the island. And um, we, because, because we don't have the mountain next to us, uh, it creates this cloud. We have a little microclimate here in Santo de Serra, which means it's colder and wetter and rainier. Uh, all the stuff that us nature people actually quite enjoy. So uh, I really love Santo de Serra and it's nice to be in the forest, in the cloud. Uh, you know, today in particular, it's quite, it's quite sunny in Funchal, the quite good weather all around the island and here it's a little bit cloudy and cool and wet and actually kind of nice. Do you want to make a rice? Let's make a duck rice. Yeah. <laughs> we can do it. Hey, come with me. Come here. I just can't do it. Just losing everything. Just like everything. Deals, ducks. I wonder if I'm even going to be able to catch a fish. Do you, do you even think I'm going to be able to catch a fish? No, of course not. Uh, so just to understand here, all the water in this park is all running fresh. It's constant circulation. Yeah, circulation, yeah. And feeds from the river. Um, yeah, and That's... from the river. When raining, sometimes uh, some months at uh, the year raining more. And we, we put water here in the big lagoon to refresh this water and go again to the nature. And we need, we pump to circulate pump the water and we pump. Ah, oh, blackberries, look. Do you think, uh, think they're any good? Blackberries in uh, end of October? Yeah, it should be good, eh? They're good. Mm. Yeah. Nice. Yeah. yeah. And here is natural kidney we see at this moment. We see the nature and you reproduce here in the park. This is a natural kidney okay. we, with gravel and clean the water. You can see upstairs this clean water because everything is worked perfectly. The material organic form, the trout stay there and go again to the, to the big lagoon. So it cleans lake. on the rocks? Yeah, and the, in the rocks. Like all of the stuff there, it's and like up, a natural filter. And, uh, a natural filter and upstairs you can see is clean water because it's worked perfectly. Awesome. One time again, we work with nature. Yeah. Everything is sustainable. Yeah, sustainably portioned, yeah. Cool. Are we actually going to catch some fish now? Yeah. Yes. <laughs> it's time to catch. And here is traditional mood with bamboo stick because ah. it's very resistant. Okay. And we put the bread in the hop. Yes. Ready? Yeah. Hell yeah. If you don't catch, you just have potatoes and salad. <laughs> hey, uh, if, I, if I don't catch, it would just be like the rest of the week for me, you know? Relax. Let it put down, more down, horizontal. The other one, we need to go to one of those lakes where they all like jumping and <laughs> like these ones, it looks like they're hibernating or something. Hey, come on, fishy, fishy. I don't know, I mean, like, it feels like I need a, a lazy chair and a beer. Hey, listen, I'm used to getting results, okay? Not, not trying to, not sit around waiting. Oh, 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 oh. Yeah. I, I, I see someone over there. Okay, let me fight, let me fight in the water. To, to you see the, the fight. Okay. Let me go tired. No, it's okay, it's okay, just to, to see in the movie. Okay. 
When you are ready, that's it, that you fight a little bit, and when you are ready, you just put in the vertical position to take out. Okay. And I help you. Okay. I think he's, I think okay. he's ready. Okay. Lean me. Oh, that's yeah. a big one, eh? Yeah, hey, big size. Oh, yeah. The fisherman every time is liar. <laughs> <laughs> Whoa! Now we take out the, the hole. You can do the disclaimer now. Yeah, sorry, vegans, please don't watch this. <laughs> no, I need That's to. my disclaimer. Okay. Big Did size, it. big size. <laughs> Not a bad fish, huh? Yeah, what is no, that, like no, 200 so grams? <laughs> I don't know, I kind of feel weird, actually. Never Fine. fished before. This is the first time I caught a fish. Yay! You know? Real life. In real life, in, the, in my whole life. Wow. And listen, it wasn't easy, you know? It's just like, okay, we're making a motivational video here. You know, the years of practice that I put in to perfect my fishing technique, you know, and to call the fish. Most, you know, most of it is all about calling the fish, right, yes. Rudy? Yeah, you have yeah. To call the fish, you know, like. Come with me. <laughs> this is what we're doing, you know? We, we sing a song, we motivate, we entertain, and the fish come. Okay. Yes. Is, <laughs> we all believe in you. <laughs> you gotta do this for all of your new YouTube fans. As the second <laughs> greatest vlogger in, in the world. Second. Ha ha ha. No, it's okay. It's okay. Oh. Ass up. Yes, push. You have to. You... No. Oh, just spread. Oh my, what's in my other cut? It's so absolute. The trouts have evolved, as uh, you know. <laughs> Evolution, it's called. Evolution. They already know. <laughs> Evolution in five minutes. You know, we can't count on the catch that we've haven't caught yet. You know, we can't count on the fish we haven't caught yet. So there's the first big lesson of today. Something that we should all keep in mind. You know, it's very easy for us to take things for granted and to say everything's great and everything's going well and we're gonna do this and we're gonna do that. But if it hasn't happened yet, you haven't caught your fish yet, don't count on it. I really, I like, I got some vegan friends. I love my vegan friends. I just don't like those gang vegans with pitchforks and, you know, like, Wah! and I'm sorry, if you don't like it, don't watch it, right? That's all we're saying. Okay. Something. Okay. When you want ready, vertical position here. Push them on. Okay. Whoa. Yeah, you killed the fish. Veronica, <laughs> how you feel? Good. Okay. Good, kind of inside you're hurting, aren't you? I didn't Stable. kill the fish. <laughs> For all of you guys who think we're here murdering fish, that's not the case, right? Rudy is a trained professional uh, and he's doing all of this uh, ethically. Right, so as soon as you catch the fish, you kill the no, fish. No, we need to kill because the trout don't suffer more. This is the reason we, because we kill at the moment we take out the trout. So how many fish do we need? Three. Three? Three. Yeah. One, two, three. One fish yes. each. One, two yeah, person yeah. is better. One per person yeah, is yes, alright. It's okay. No. You're doing again? Ah, uh, yes. Do Give me the camera. Let me film a little bit. Alright. Ready? Okay. Ready. Okay, yeah. let me fight a little bit. Oh, this was fast, eh? Yeah. This was fast, eh? Yeah, yeah it's, uh, it's, oh, good. it's a heavy it's guy, heavy. Yeah? yeah? It's a heavy guy. Not my first time doing this, but yeah, yeah. it's interesting. 300 grams. 300. If you put it in the front of you like that, okay. maybe it's half a kilo. <laughs> Damn, Damn. Every look time at this. Liars. There you go. Yeah. Hello. <laughs> <laughs> I'm yeah. gonna call you Jeff, uh, no Josh. <laughs> Josh. <laughs> Josh. I just <laughs> caught Jeff. <laughs> Some local people can doing this activity to take home to prepare at home. Oh, okay. But normally people catch and try here okay. in the park. So yeah. you can do that if you want to. You can catch a fish here, take it home. Uh, yeah, we clean and people go home to home to prepare at home. Is this a fish? Okay. It's a fish. Right? Yeah. It is a fish, eh? That's pretty cool. We separate. And we open in the middle. I'm not good at this kind of stuff. 
Yeah, it's a bit, it's a bit violent. How many times have you done this, really? Sometimes at the day we can clean 30 charts. Sometimes. 30 charts. When we have big groups to safari tours, can hear tourists. Now going to the marinade with white wine, sour oregano, garlic and lemon. And stay a little bit in the marinade to take some flavor, okay? Yeah, I love this whole setup that they got going. Pots and pans, I love cooking this cooking stuff. Cooking in nature, and outdoor cooking kind of thing. <laughs> wow, look at how it's just like, it's pretty fast, eh? Quite warm. Yeah, so for those of you who don't know, rosemary or alecrim in Portuguese is something that they use to uh, get rid of uh, bad uh, energies and bad spirits and things. Uh, the easiest way to kind of say it is to um, push away the evil eye, uh, the olhado that people uh, talk about. And I've got a different technique as well when it comes to food and stuff, when it comes to Instagram. I uh, only post photos of food on Instagram after I've eaten it because the evil eye can get you if someone is jealous and looking at your food and going, ah, oh, that son of a bitch is eating this food and whatever. And you know, then you get all that bad energy from the evil eye from him or her to you. So if you're going to be posting food, if you're going to be, you know, taking a photo and going, oh my God, what an amazing crowd. You know, you only want to post it after you eat. To, to avoid the evil eye. But we've got lots of alecrim, rosemary going around. I'm gonna turn this around. Rudy, can we flip it? Yeah, oof, it looks great. It looks fantastic. Here the rosemary is just for the flavor. Um, but you know, it, 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 helps, it helps get rid of that bad stuff that we've had enough of, really, haven't we? We've had enough of bad stuff. I'm in a very complaining mood today, like I just want to complain, so that's what, you know, I'm taking it out on you guys, so, you know, tell me what you've been complaining about, but not bad, no, actually no, we're not going to do that, we're talking about positive stuff, optimism, no, com no complaints, this is going to be amazing. <laughs> Rudy has brought us some feijoada, right, which is like a bean casserole. I don't know much about feijoada as in like where it comes from and things like that. I think it might be Brazilian. I don't know, but uh, it certainly uh, is quite popular in Portugal. So we got some feijoada, we got some sweet potato bread. I believe all of this is like super, you know, rustic food, homemade food. So I'm quite excited to try this because of course we all love our food out here. So we're going to try the feijoada until the, the trout comes, right? And you, yeah. you look like you have something to say. What do you want to say? Nothing. What am I forgetting? What am I forgetting? Tell me. Nothing. No, you're looking at me like, is he going to say it? Is he not going to say it? What am I? What am I? I didn't want bread. You didn't want bread? Okay, I'll take the bread. We should just like... Stay on the feijoada. <laughs> right, now the challenge is of course to eat this thing without having to deal with all the fish bones, yeah, which uh, I don't know if I'm going to be very good at. So. Rudy tried to explain to me exactly how to do it because this is usually the reason why I don't like eating this kind of fish um, because it's quite a mission. So he's, he reckons that this is where the muscle separates. Right, cool. And then he says I've got to open it like this. Right. Ooh. I think I did this bottom half a little bit early. <laughs> how do you do that? Well, I mean, kind of. Yeah. Oh, we got to see you do it, Andre. Huh? Yeah. <laughs> Off camera. Off camera, yeah. Off How are you? Camera. Uh, it's been absolutely awesome coming out here to Park Ribeira Primeira. It's my first time here, and uh, the food is amazing. The feijoada was amazing. 
the fish was amazing, the potatoes were amazing, everything was fantastic. It's all cooked on the wood burning um, barbecue, so it's all very wholesome, all very natural, all very delicious. So do yourselves a favor, come out here and check this place out. It's a really, really nice place, right? There's a bit of a dirt road to come here and it's a bit of a off the beaten path, but really, really awesome. So thank you to Park Ribera Primera for all of your hospitality and uh, this place rocks. Oh, okay, so you guys are probably thinking what? You know, what is up? What happened? What did you miss? What did you lose? What is the deal you lost? First of all, it was two deals. Second of all, this is in no way any kind of hate to anybody involved in this stuff. If you're watching this video and you're like, oh my God, he's talking about me, like, don't stress it. Uh, we're all good, you know. I'm just not used to uh, not getting my way kind of thing, you know, not getting, uh, you know, what we want in life, so. There's a lesson in all of this, right? You know, we can't always have exactly what we want. There's a reason for everything happening. And, you know, we're choosing to see the positive side of things, you know. I don't know if it's because I've been out here and that now I'm actually quite relaxed and doesn't bother me about what's going on. I don't know if it's the fact that we were out here having a couple of drinks and having some good food uh, and being out in nature and feeling this kind of mystic vibe. If uh, all of a sudden now, you know, our problems are gone. And if it is the, the fact, then, you know, it's a real simple solution. Just get out there and enjoy your life and get on with it. We need to keep going and that we need to work for what we want. So, yeah, that's what we're going to do. There's better things coming and hit the road. Please stay tuned because I promise you uh, happier videos in the future. I hope this video served as some kind of entertainment, some kind of motivation for something. Um, like I said, we've been a little bit off of our game the last few weeks. And I wanted to portray this in this video that this is not kind of, this channel is not about perfect things. You know, Madeira is not perfect. We're not perfect. No one's perfect, right? So that's the kind of stuff that I really wanted to show you. I wanted it to be a little bit more genuine. Maybe I haven't been able to actually portray that to you. And remember, if you're coming to Madeira, Book your tours with Hit The Road Madeira and let us know what you think of all of this and what you want to see. So that's it, I think. I think I'm done. I'm done. I'm done talking. Hey, Andre. Let's hit the road. Let's hit the road. <laughs>